Hi Year 11, this video is designed to give you some more detail about the actual internal that you're going to be completing as part of the topic that you've been working on relating to pests. Now the name of the internal is investigate the biological impact of an event on a New Zealand ecosystem. It's four credits. Um, the thing that we're looking at here when we talk about this internal, well really we're talking the event that we're talking about is pest control. And it may not look it, but those little cute little fluffy little uh, rodents up there, they're pests. They cause harm to the New Zealand bush, irreparable harm to the organisms that are present in it and are really harmful to unique, New Zealand's unique biodiversity. I know that they look fluffy, but if they're sitting there and they're taking the eggs of native birds or, the, um, or they're actually killing native birds, then the reality of the situation is, is that they're damaging the resilience of our ecosystem. Those birds have no natural adaptations to um, be able to fend off these predators. The consequence of that means that those birds are no longer in our habitat and they're outside of it, they're removed from the ecosystem. And in addition to the things that might be directly involved in, with them in terms of trophic levels, the feeding relationship they have, if they have a key role, and many of them do have a key role in relation to seed dispersal and pollination of plant species, then the entire forest, the entire New Zealand bush can be really harmed um, in terms of the plants that are there and the other animals that are dependent on those plants by these rodents. They are pests. Absolutely. So we don't want them here. We want them gone. And the way that we do that is pest control. And that is our biological impact of an event, the biological impact of pest control. So get rid of the pests, really clearly show you the damage that a pest species can do to the New Zealand bush. Image on the left um, has been impacted by overgrazing and removal of bird species um, and compared to the one on the right in its natural state, it's in its recovered state if you implement pest control, if you remove them from that environment. So obviously pest control can have a significant impact on an environment. By applying it, you reduce the impact of those pest species and you provide a space for that ecosystem to recover. So our biological impact in this internal is the pest control of invasive species. And I'll name the invasive species that we're looking at, rats, possums, stoats, mice, cats, Basically, these are not native to New Zealand animals. They're invasive because basically they spread rapidly and to the detriment of other species that are around them. And the ecosystem that we're talking about is the New Zealand bush. In this case, the Waitakere Ranges, the regional park that is there. So we are looking at the effect of pest control on the New Zealand bush, the Waitax. OK, so why would we bother with this? Well, I've kind of alluded to the fact that birds have a critical role in terms of the maintenance and the sustenance of the New Zealand bush. But we can also look at bird life is very unique in New Zealand. And from a cultural point of view, it's all over the money, literally, literally all over the money. Um, bird of the year is kind of a big deal. Um, but the bird life in New Zealand is very, very unique. There's a reason for that. Um, 65 million years ago, New Zealand breaks off from Gondwana land, one of the southern continents, and it does that before the land mammals become present, in the, before they've really evolved. Um, and the consequence of that means that mammals aren't really native to New Zealand. In fact, the only species of mammal I believe that you can that's found um, in New Zealand is a species of flightless bat. And those, that bird life has evolved without land mammal predators. Consequence of that means that it's evolved to be pretty unique. You've got a large number of flightless birds in New Zealand, simply because the lack of predation by other animals um, meant that they could spend more time on the canopy floor. What that means is that New Zealand culture has grown to appreciate this unique bird life that it has. So they have a unique place in our social landscape. They're, 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 they're pretty cool. So um, that frames itself most typically in a bird that's profoundly associated with New Zealand, the kiwi. Um, the kiwi, the kakapo, the kangaroo, they're unique to New Zealand. 
They have unique roles in the um, balance of our ecosystems. And if we don't look after them, because they have no natural defenses to cats or rats or stoats, none whatsoever, then they're gone and they're gone forever. And that unique artifact of our rich biological history, our, the thing that we've embraced into our culture, it's gone. So that's why we have deployed pest control to sustain the uniqueness of the living things that are in New Zealand, but also because, well, they're pretty special to us. They're unique to us and they have key roles in maintaining our ecosystems. If they disperse seeds or they pollinate our plant life, you remove them and you profoundly damage that plant life. So therefore, the entire bush, the entire bush is at risk from them being removed from it by the actions of an invasive plant species, by the actions of an invasive mammal species. So there is a big push to be predator free in New Zealand, okay, to remove the predators of those native birds. And in doing so, that would preserve our native birds, our plants, our lizards, our insects. And again, just, I mean, to name them, if we talk about insects, you don't get wetters in any other part of the world, right? You don't. Um, in terms of native birds, I've talked about the keroo. In terms of plant species, ferns are unique in New Zealand. So we have this incredibly unique biodiversity. At the same time, we have this huge rate of highly threatened species because of the actions of stoats and rats and cats and those other introduced predators. Large numbers of our um, species are absolutely threatened. Some of them are endangered. Many of them are threatened. Now, why do you want to sustain a biodiversity? Why do you want lots of things that are different in a population? Well, what that means is that your ecosystem becomes resilient. It means that if there are changes in conditions, your ecosystem is more likely to be able to survive that. However, you need to be very mindful that species are interlinked. So if you lose one species, it can have a significant effect on the other species in that ecosystem. I've mentioned it before, I'm going to mention it again because it's a big idea. Plants depend on animals to depend to, to disperse their seeds. Animals depend on the plants for food and for shelter. You start removing things that disperse seeds or you start rem and therefore those plants can't grow, you will have a problem. And this is this notion of a keystone species. So if we start looking at things about how we track the human impact on the New Zealand bush. In the case of this, the human impact is the pest control, us going in, putting in mechanisms to control the population of those pest species, traps, baits, that type of thing. If we don't have pest control, okay, you see a massive increase in the rat tracking index. It goes up hugely, okay? If we don't have pest control, we end up having a significant impact on the number of seed seedlings that we have or the number of bird species that we have so what we do is we massively increase our pests and we lose our birds and we lose our plants when we do have pest control those are the green columns you have massive increases to the number of seedlings the amount of native birds and you massively reduce things like the rats so you can clearly see that pest control has a really large impact on reducing the number of pests and allowing bird species to thrive and plant species to thrive. So that's a description of its impact. Going on from there, I direct you to the second video on this, which is going to talk about the achieved merit and excellent criteria for this internal.